In what's likely an indication he knows he's losing, last Wednesday, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin drastically upped his rhetoric in the war he started against Ukraine. He announced he was mobilising 300,000 reservists to join the fight and threatened he was prepared to use nuclear weapons. Putin's desperate actions have been condemned around the world. For Ukrainians, despite being battered by seven months of fighting, their resolve to boot the Russian forces out remains as strong as ever. It's largely thanks to inspirational leader President Volodymyr Zelensky. But tonight, we want to introduce you to his inspiration, his wife, the equally heroic First Lady, Olena Zelenska. If there's one force Russia didn't anticipate in Ukraine, it's the power of the First Lady. Lovely to see you. Thank you for making time for us. Thank you. Thank you. Olena Zelenska's strength lies not on the battlefield, but on the international stage, where she's risen to meet the most unlikely of occasions and made sure her country is supported, not forgotten, in its darkest hour. I imagine you never thought your life would turn out like this. For the work of a first lady, there's no preparation. There's no rules or books that you can read. And no one can teach you how to be the wife of a president in a country that is at war. Since February, most of the world has watched with broken hearts as Russian troops have devastated Ukraine. But this month has finally brought some hope, with Ukraine taking back parts of the Kharkiv region. Each little success, though, also brings fear that it could push Russia's dictator Vladimir Putin to become even more aggressive. And that was proven just days ago with this warning he's not afraid to use nuclear weapons. We will certainly use all the means available to us. And I'm not bluffing. We want victory, but we understand it's a very difficult war. We're all worried. It's a difficult but very important time for us. Olena wants Australians to realise how important we are in her nation's fight. These Bushmasters we donated were critical in liberating 150,000 people in the country's northeast in the past few weeks. The 44-year-old is so grateful she found a few words of thanks in English. Uh, dear Australians, thank you for your huge support. We feel it, uh, we know it, and we hope uh, that in future you will do the same. What would you like Australians to know? I don't want people to forget about the war. Even though it's thousands of kilometers away from you, it's very close. Because this is a war about how you see the world. It's a war of strength and aggression against those who are defending what they love. How are you doing? Families are divided. We don't see loved ones. We don't see friends. And this is our question to ourselves every day. How are we? We often reply to each other. I am holding on. Holding on is hard. Not just for a president and first lady, pictured here in much happier times, but also for a husband and wife, a father and mother, who still hope to preserve a future for generations to come. And how are your children? Like all children in Ukraine, on the first days of the war, they are always asking, when is the war going to finish? And now they don't ask anymore. For example, at this time of the year, all families are planning what they're going to do for Christmas and how they're going to celebrate New Year's. But no one in Ukraine at the moment, no one can think about that, what they're going to do at Christmas, because our plans finish today. Like most families in Ukraine right now, Olena's is separated by war. The president won the admiration of his people and the rest of the world 
when he famously turned down an offer to leave the capital, Kyiv. Всі ми тут, наші військові тут, громадяни суспільства тут, всі ми тут захищаємо нашу незалежність. But his choice to stay and fight also made him the enemy's top target, with his family next in line. So while her husband rarely leaves the highly secure presidential compound, Olena lives at a secret location with their two children. It means opportunities to spend time with him are rare and precious. I'm in the office now, so I can pop in and see him for a few minutes, but we are not together. He loves to joke. We love each other and we love our children, and I'm sure that this is going to continue. You have been spending less time with your husband. You've had to share him with the rest of Ukraine, with the rest of the world, and he's become this international hero. Did you always feel as though he had that in him? He didn't surprise me at all. I'm not saying this as his wife, but as a person who has worked with him for many years. He's the most committed person I've ever known. And with great joy, I see more people are finding this out about him. Working so closely with her husband is not new for Elena. Before he became president, Volodymyr was the star of a Ukrainian comedy show. And Olena worked behind the scenes, writing the scripts. But now they're sharing centre stage and the whole world is watching. I can say this was not my dream, to be an object in front of a camera all the time. We don't know what we can achieve until we find ourselves in such a situation. While the president stays home to fight, Olena has become her nation's envoy to the world. On Mother's Day in May, she welcomed her American counterpart, Jill Biden, to Ukraine. And in July, Olena travelled to Jill's home, making this powerful plea to Congress. I'm asking for something now I would never want to ask. I'm asking for weapons. Just days later, she hosted this virtual summit of first ladies and gentlemen, supported by France's Brigitte Macron. Nous sommes et nous resterons à vos côtés, chère Olena, pour aider les Ukrainiens. And last week, Olena was in London for the funeral of Queen Elizabeth II, another woman in only a very small handful who's carried the weight of a country at war. All the stories about the Queen were very motivational. Aside from the load and the responsibility of the crown, she could remain a sensitive person and an active woman up to her last days. What's it like to share the stage with these world leaders? I remember how much I was worried. I didn't know what type of world this was or about these people, but it seems they're normal people who have emotions and common values. I must say, Mrs. Macron helped me greatly. She tried to calm me down and said everything will be okay. Just be yourself and everything will work out. Don't forget about your own personal life. Don't think about how you are always in front of cameras. Olena's time as First Lady has been unconventional and not without controversy. Her decision to feature in Vogue has left some critics wondering where her priorities really lie. Especially this shot, in front of what was the world's largest plane, burnt out and in pieces after Russia's assault on Kyiv. This stereotypical idea of a First Lady was quashed with your Vogue cover shoot, which to some people seemed like an odd choice in the middle of a war that you would pose for a fashion magazine, but to others they saw a symbol of strength, of resilience. Why was that an important shoot for you? Because this is a large publication with many millions of people, and the truth needs to be told everywhere. I was worried only about the photograph near the aeroplane because everybody was proud of the aeroplane and now it's been destroyed. But this is my destroyed dream as well. I have the right because this is my country and my dream and I can be photographed with the background of my broken dreams. For someone who never chased the limelight, Olena is now taking advantage of the world's attention when her country needs it most.
I'm the same as I always was, but I have different tasks. I try to find time for everything. I don't know how. Someone once asked me how I managed to get everything done, and I replied, I don't, but now I try to do even more. Are you confident that Ukraine can win this war? We don't have any other option. This is a matter of our survival. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on ninenow.com.au and the Nine Now app.